Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I'm going to be doing a spread in my Erin Condren for the last week of August, which is August 26th to September 1st. And I do want to apologize. There's a lot of construction still going on behind my house, and this is prime time for them, which is early in the morning for me before I have to go to work. Um, so that's really unfortunate, but I do apologize in advance for that. And this is the last week of August, which is so mind-blowing. And I wanted to use a summer kit because, um, I think this will be my last summer kit until fall starts, honestly, because I have two wedding-inspired kits coming up next, as I will be going to two weddings. And then after that, I'm going to use my first fall kit because the first week of fall, I will be traveling to Japan. So I'm going to be using a travel kit for that week. And then by the time I get back, it'll be fall. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. <laughs> this kit is by Tropical Paper Co. And it is so, so gorgeous. I picked up a few kits from her during one of the like bigger sales and I can't believe I've never like seen her shop before so I'm really really excited and glad I found her. I love her quality. Her um, premium mat is gorgeous and she's based out of India and she ships really fast for being all the way overseas. So here are the full boxes and there are nine so you certainly can have an extra one and you can play around with which ones you want to use. There are some quarter boxes down here. Here you have all of the functional icons, um, scripts, the Hello Weekend banner, a movie marquee, the sidebar trackers, checklist, and this cute one here says must do, and it's like a three bow checklist. You have some flags and bill do. I really think her Hello Weekend is so gorgeous. And then here you have all of the functional boxes. I like that there's a variation. So you have like appointment boxes down here, three bow checklists. And I do appreciate that she doesn't include like the large box bow checklist just because I don't ever really use those. And here are the washi strips, some extra boxes or washi down here. You have, um, these are, these are actually like smaller than quarter boxes. They're not headers either. So you can certainly use these as quarter boxes to, you know, write in if you want, or you can use them as washi strips. And then here you have all of the headers because they're a lot thinner than these. And you have the um, date covers. So this is just a four page kit, which is perfect for me because it's got everything I need. And I will certainly be able to pull things in from my collection. I'm just really excited because it's also faux gold glitter. So I'll try to pull in some washi. These are from Simply Gilded. And I want to use this one from Girl Boss Anna on top of this washi strip right here. I feel like it would look really pretty because it'll um, have the gold. These are... I think these are stars or hearts, I can't, or confetti um, coming on, you know, over the, the um, floral pieces. So I think that would be really pretty. If you're interested in watching this video, then stay tuned. I'm going to start off by putting down my bottom washi. And with this kit, there were two separate pieces. So I really wanted to make sure I whited everything out so that the lines weren't showing. I didn't really know how I wanted my spacing. I realized, you know, early on that I put too much white space above and below the pink washi. So I will change that later on. But I'm also going to pull in some Girl Boss Anna washi overlay tapes and I love how this turned out. It's so pretty. I love the like ombre confetti effect and so I didn't want to cover the floral pieces with that so what I did was I just flipped it and made sure that it wasn't covering the leaves or the flowers. Instead it was kind of doing like a trickle down effect if that makes any sense. I don't know. And I'm also going to pull in these date dots by Avenue K Design. They are super super cute and dainty and they are in gold foil. I'm going to put down my date covers and I love always including like or put leaving a little bit of like white space before it hits the line because I will be putting headers down and I don't like them to both be completely flushed with one another with one another and these flags are from Ciela stickers. I've seen other planner girls do this where they just you know just um, cover just the right amount before covering the, the word on the date cover. Gosh, that was a lot to say. Um, and snipping the rest. <laughs> and I actually prefer that because I don't like covering the flag. Like usually I'll put the flag first and then the Sunday date cover, but I liked doing this instead. I like how that looks. And I put down the rest of my headers and I just mismatched them a little bit. And here I'm going to pull in the 15 millimeter Simply Gilded Gold Foiled Washi and layer the Hello Weekend banner over that. I just wanted a little bit of foil behind the banner just to give it something extra, I guess. 
And then here I'm just going to put down the full box I wanted to have on my top left hand corner and pull in this 10 millimeter Simply Gilded Washi in gold foil. And I just love how that looks. It's so pretty. I didn't have very much foil on my sidebar so I will jazz up like that full box a little bit later on. And I'm going to put down the two habit trackers, a washi strip, the Monday through Sunday tracker, and then here this, this is where I'm switching up or moving up that pink washi just because I felt like it was starting to look too crowded in the center and then like there was too much white space above it. I hope that makes sense. But I tore the paper and let's just, yeah, I don't even look at it because <laughs> it literally like my heart skipped a beat when I tore that. I was like, oh my gosh. Every time I tear the paper, I freak out because I feel like there's no turning back if you tear it too much. So I just, you know, <laughs> just freaked out a little bit. And then I put down another pink washi strip on the left hand side and a checklist just to mark my happy mail. Now I'm just going to mismatch the full boxes and the ones I put on Wednesday and Thursday are my absolute favorite. I could not decide between the two, but I typically like to put my favorite boxes on Wednesday and Thursday just because I feel like my eyes naturally gravitate towards the center of my planner whenever I look at it as like a, a whole spread. And I love the ones I put on Friday and Sunday also to um, mark like Friday and Hello September because I do like to use scripts over my full boxes. And now to the day by day, I'm going to pull in a tasseled planner sleep mask and the eyelashes are foiled in gold and a sleep in script sticker from Honey Inked. This is a box from Simply Watercolor Co. And I will be changing this up later, but initially I'm going to put down a 5mm gold foiled washi from Simply Gilded, but I felt like it didn't look right and it just didn't look right to me. So I will change that later with a Honey Inked binder clip. And all of the work scripts I'll be using this week are from Harriet Wright Designs. The script and font is just so gorgeous. And I'm also going to pull in a every minute a story character to mark basically how I felt on Monday. It was so chaotic. <laughs> and this um, script that says, uh, it's Monday is the custom from Kinsey's Creations. I'm going to pull in a half box. And um, that panda bird, that girl is from Panda Bird design panda bird design yes and that heart is from simply watercolor co i just use that to mark uploading my recollections july plan with me and the super cute food doodle is from paper shire who was formerly known as toffee bananas to mark that i went to chick-fil-a and then i'm also going to put a giving girl bow over that and i ran out of chick-fil-a um icons so if you guys know of any that are currently open i think there's like one shop that does sell them um, other than um, Coffee Monsters Co. because I have had a sheet of hers before. Let me know in the comments below because I've been trying to find like the perfect Chick-fil-A icons and the one that I do like, it's, you know, their shop is closed I think until mid-September. So if you know of any, I'd really appreciate it. And then um, I put the Coffee Monday script that came with the kit over the box. I will switch that up because I don't like that the coffee cup is kind of camouflaged with the full box. And I also put the Happy Mail icon script that came with the kit on the left hand side. The workout, upload, and dinners scripts are all from Honey Inked, and that really cute like meal icon is from um, Magic Prince Co. Now I'm switching that Coffee Monday script or that um, coffee script to this Coffee Monday one from Kinsey's Creations. And on Tuesday, I'm going to cut down a quarter box and put down a um, tasseled planner coffee cup over it with an edit script. I'm also going to mark work the same way. Instead, I mismatch the boxes. So you'll see later on that one of them every other day will have like a binder clip in the corner and the other one will have the two washi strips. So I really love that Simply Watercolor Co. You know, gives both options because I love how both of them look. And then now I'm marking my meetings. They're all going to be marked the same way with a flag that came with the kit as well as a Crafts by Towie alarm clock. It's just super cute. And um, typically if there's no hands on the clock, I will actually write the time in the clock because I like how that looks. And then I'm also marking with a quarter box that I moved desk. So fortunately for me, one of like the window seats like became available. So I like rushed over there. I was like, I <laughs> So I asked my manager, like, can I move? Because I just like to be, like, away from the chaos. And if, having a window seat, even if it's just to look at the parking lot, I still love seeing all the trees and the nature. It's just nicer. Whoa, I almost choked on my sit. <laughs> 
That box is from Lilac and Paper. I'm also going to pull in a Paper Shire little cupcake to mark that. My boyfriend came home with tons of pastries this day, which is annoying, but also like appreciated. <laughs> it's like a love-hate thing, you know? And um, I marked that we watched Mindhunter. It was like the last episode, which is crazy because it's such a good show. I didn't want it to be over. And that TV is from Samantha May 6. On Wednesday, I'm going to use a paper blush bar camera to mark filming over like a little things. I don't like glossy paper for this reason because like anytime the light hits it, it just has the worst glare, even with foil. And then I used a coffee first script from Kinsey's Creations as well as a coffee cup and heart from Clever Gal Crafts. And here, this is where I was talking about using a binder clip in the bottom right hand corner. And I will switch that. Those binder clips are from Honey Inked and I just marked work as well. And then under the full box, I will be marking the meeting, um, a meeting I had this exact same way that I did for Tuesday. I also will be pulling a tasseled planner watch to mark that I worked out during my lunch break. And the workout script is from Honey Inked as well. I'm also going to pull in a tasseled, no, this is from Papershire. Sorry. I'm also going to pull in a breakfast flat lay from Paper Shire to just mark that my boyfriend and I basically had breakfast for dinner this day. And you won't see this on camera because I forgot to film it, but I put some more squiggles from Rose Color Days throughout the spread just because I used I will use one on Thursday and it just looked weird not having it on other days. So, I just wanted to balance it out a little bit more as well. And these are these these are the bow banners I used by Lilac and Paper. These are on my freebie from her shop. And I just love how cute that is. I wanted to layer both of them just to add a little bit more dimension to it and a little bit more foil. So you'll see me kind of playing around with like how I wanted to put it down. But I really like how that turned out. It's super, super cute. I can't remember who gave me inspiration for that. But I think I saw it. Um, one of the tags I followed on Instagram had a spread like that so I just got my inspiration from that and I just always remembered like hey if like Rachel if you ever remember to do this just do it <laughs> and so it just kind of came to mind so here I'm going to fill out the rest of my sidebar and then I'm also going to go ahead and go into Thursday and I start off by just marking um, sleeping in again using the same method from Monday that's from Tasseled Planner I will use a rose colored day squiggle under that and I'm also going to mark work the same way as well. I'm going to use a cake icon from Honey Ink to mark that I need to pick up some bunt cakes. I, I, I know it sounds like I'm saying butt cakes, but I swear I'm saying bunt cakes. <laughs> I always have to emphasize that because I feel like it sounds so weird. So I put that over a quarter box because I had to pick up these cakes for my coworker. Her birthday was last week, but she was like on vacation. So we just wanted to celebrate it with her. And since I was off on Friday, I wanted to, um, we wanted to celebrate it while I was still there because a lot of people I think were taking Friday off for like Labor Day weekend. And then um, I'm going to mark a meeting the exact same way for the past two days I've been um, using Crafts by Towie icon and the flag. Thankfully, this kit only came with three flags and I only had three meetings, so that worked out in my favor. All right, guys, I'm so sorry if I sound exhausted. I just woke up from a nap. I have a really bad headache during this part of the voiceover. Um, so on Thursday, I used a sushi icon from Tasseled Planner. And um, I know I mark date night sometimes, like more than once a week, which I just think is enjoyable and fun because, you know, when my boyfriend and I can go spend time together, it is kind of like date night. We have quality time together. So I like to do that. And then I also used a rose colored days ice cream or gelato icon to mark that we had gelato <laughs> and it was actually gelato we've had from the grocery store from that week I just forgot we had it in the freezer and then I used a simply watercolor coat bow over that and now onto Friday I might have not shown this but I used a TJF script from Netty Designs and a little things box with a camera from paper blush bar to mark filming I tore the rose color day squiggle and it's really easy to so just be careful if you own these I would just tear them off like with the shape of the actual sticker if that makes sense and I used this three box bow checklist that says must do which is super cute I just had a few errands to run I had PTO on Friday so it was really nice to get a lot of things done and those shopping bags are from lilac and paper I also used this sticker sticker. <laughs> it's so cute. It's from the Tassel Planner to just mark that I bought some stickers. There has been really, really good sales, especially with Labor Day 
Labor Day. I, I, I can't ever say Labor Day. I always say Labor Dale. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a mess. <laughs> and I am now going to use a Hello September script from Rose Color Days. So back to the bottom of Friday, I used a family script from Kinsey's Creations or Family Time script and a Clever Gal Crafts heart with a tassel Planner heart layered over that. I have been really loving this variation of the two sized hearts over each other. And um, I messed up the movie marquee that came with the kit, so I used a box smaller than a half box to mark that we watched a movie called Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. It's on Amazon Prime and it's pretty good. Um, I'm not really a fan of like time travel, space, universe movies at all or shows, but surprisingly this was pretty, you know, pretty enjoyable to watch. So I would recommend it if you're into that stuff. Even if you're not, try it out. <laughs> and the countdown scripts at the top are from Rose Color Days. I have been forgetting, but I want to um, count do a countdown for when I go to Japan. I forgot I had these, so I'm glad I saw them when I was going through my you know, my albums. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to pull these out before I forget. Um, and on Saturday, I used a quarter box as well as like a stack of washi from Zar Stickers, who was formerly known as Planner Girl Stickers, I think, to mark that I bought some more stickers because of the sale, you know, crazy. <laughs> and I used a uh, Clever Gal Crafts, like, clear flag with the confetti dots, super gorgeous, with a Anna Lunico nail polish sticker to mark that I got my nails done and then I cut down this bow banner from lilac and paper it's from my freebie I thought it looked really cute like that I love that I want to get more um, banners like that so I can do it kind of like in a corner shape if that makes sense or like put it on the corner of boxes I think that would look really cute and then I used a quarter box I cut down the sides just to add a little bit more white space with the workout script that came with the kit and it has like icons next to it I will also put a simply watercolor coat bow over the kettlebell I just did that off camera I think and now I'm just using some Girl Boss Anna washi um, overlay tapes to decorate this full box. I felt like it was lacking something. It was really empty. And I also used a Hazel sticker pasta icon to mark that we grabbed some Italian food. It's at this place called Gianna's. And then I used a Magic Prince Co. laptop to mark that I uploaded a Recollections Plan With Me. I believe it was like a memory spread in July. And then on Sunday, I'm going to use a quarter box with a film and upload script from Honey Inked. And then I used a Magic Prince Co. kettlebell and then the weight training script from Kinsey's Creations. I really love her scripts, you guys. She has several like workout related ones if you want to check them out. And then I used a half box and cut down like a checklist that matched the color of the half box to mark that I did a lot of cleaning. I like vacuumed, cleaned all the bathrooms, um, dusted like the whole thing the whole thing and I used a rose color day spray bottle because we were having guests over my parents we were going to barbecue at my house for Labor Day and then I will also put a Simply Watercolor Co. bow over that. I used another squiggle and a quarter box to mark our family barbecue and the same like variation of the hearts and this paw print is from Honey Inked. I love it. It's so cute. It was from her sampler but I want a full sheet of those to just mark that we went on a family walk after the barbecue just try to burn off some of the calories and yeah so that was really really fun. I enjoy family time, especially on calming and beautiful weekends. I think it's just so necessary to have to relax. And then I used another Simply Watercolor Kobo over that cupcake on Tuesday, and then I'll fill out my sidebar. Okay, guys, so here are the leftover stickers, and I have a lot left over, especially these, like, word icons and boxes and checklists, so there's plenty left over for sure. Here is a Viv Wiggle for you, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It was so much fun to plan this week because everything was just so gorgeous, and I really enjoy her quality as well as her design. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.